Hello and welcome back to Joe's Math Tools. In our session today, we are converting a decimal number in the thousands position into degrees. And if you're ready, let's get started. To convert my decimal number 467 thousands into a decimal number, I will be multiplying this number by a complete revolution. I remember that a complete revolution is 360 degrees. Now we're just going to be applying our multiplication step. So for this one I will be putting my 360 at the base. Remember it doesn't matter which number you decide to put at the bottom. As long as you multiply correctly we should still get the same answer. So let's begin our multiplication. So 0 times 7 is going to be 0, 0 times 6 is 0, 0 times 4 is 0, and of course 0 times 0 will be 0. We'll add in our 0 and begin multiplying by our 6. 6 times 7 is 42, we'll put our 2, carry the 4. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 will be 40. We put in our 0, carry the 4. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 4 will be 28. We'll put our 8, carry the 2, and 6 times 0 will be 0 plus 2 will equal to 2. So now we're going to cross off all of, all of those old numbers, add in our two zeros, and begin multiplying by my 3. 3 times 7 is 21. We'll put our 1, carry the 2. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2 will give us 20. We'll put our 0, carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 will be 14. We'll put our 4, carry the 1. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 1 will equal to 1. Now let's sum our numbers together. Zeros plus zeros will be 0. 2 plus zeros will be 2. 1 plus zeros will be 1. 8 plus zeros will be 8. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, and we'll bring down our 1. So now we're going to go back. Count our numbers behind the decimal point and input that position for the decimal point in our answer. So in my 467 thousands, we have three digits behind the decimal point. In 360, there is no digit. So in total, we have three digits behind our decimal point. So we count one, two, three, and input our decimal point. So my 467 thousands in degrees is 168 and 1200 degrees so that will be my number in degrees let's try another example feel free at this point to pause the video convert your decimal number into degrees and then when you're ready you can unpause the video and work along with me okay so like we did before we're going to be multiplying our decimal number 265 thousands by our 360 degrees and for this example I'll put my 360 degrees at the top and multiply by my 265 thousands. The 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 6 is 30, we we'll put our 0 carry the 3, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 3 will be 18. So we add a 0 and begin multiplying by our 6. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 6 is 36. We'll put our 6. Carry the 3. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 3 will be 21. So we're going to put in two zeros this time. One for my 5, one for my 6. And begin multiplying by my 2. So 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. We'll put our 2. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 will give us 7. And for this time, we put in 3 zeros before we begin multiplying by our 0. And because we know that everything times 0 is going to be 0, I'm just going to put in 3 zeros for these 3 numbers. And now let's sum our numbers together. So zeros plus zeros will be 0. 6 plus 8 is 14. We'll put our 4, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 
2 plus 7 is 9 and we'll bring down the 0. So again, we're going back and counting how many digits are behind our decimal point. In 360, there are 0 digits. In 265 thousands, there are 3 digits. So in total, we would have 3 digits behind our decimal point. So we count 1, 2, 3 and input our decimal point. So my 265 thousands in degrees is 95 and 4 tenths degrees. Okay, so there you have it. We just converted a decimal number in the thousands position into degrees. And remember, we're just multiplying these numbers times our complete revolution, which is 360 degrees. And once we've done multiplying and input our decimal point back into our answer, we just found our conversion for our number in degrees. So remember to get some additional practice in, try out different numbers, and once you begin to practice, you realize you're developing your skills and you will get better. And until next time, this is Jules Math Tools, where we make math easy.